Okay, so today's video is going to be about QVD. I'm sorry, QVD. <laughs> so, as you see, this is my a old wash and go. This is actually seven days old. I don't feel like the wash routine. I don't feel like going through the whole process. So I'm going to actually renew it with this. You put water in this little thing right here. You wait until it gets hot enough. You hear that? That means it's ready. So I just come in, you know, and just loosen it up. This is what gives you moisture back in your hair. I am not washing my hair today. I usually wash my hair between every five to seven days. I wash my hair weekly. So this is going to make it easier to be able to get through it to do a twist out. Actually just go in with the steam and just loosen the curls up. When I first became natural, I tried my best to buy everything that I needed before I actually, trans well, I transitioned, but before I did the big chop, I made sure that I got stuff little by little so that I wouldn't have to run out and get things. Okay, this, you see the difference? See how it's a little bit able to, this to go through just a bit. Yeah, but as I was saying, when I first came natural, I had the steamer that you put on top of the table, but one is bulky, two it leaked, and um, three I didn't feel like always putting it together and taking it apart. So I ended up investing in this, the handheld steamer, and this one is $79. Um, they used to sell it on Amazon, but I actually had to go to the website and buy it because Amazon stopped selling it or either they stopped selling it on Amazon, however it goes. But um, it's a game changer when you don't feel like doing your hair. It's actually a game changer whenever you want to like steam your hair when you have conditioner in it. But it's also a game changer um, if you just don't feel like just doing your hair. And when I say doing your hair, I mean washing your hair all over again, you know. So, I'm going to go through this, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I jumped in real quick just to show you. So, it's loosened up enough that I was able to separate it. So, when that happens now, because this is already steamed, right? Again, hold on. Now you got to press the button to the steam release. Okay, so now I go in, right? Okay. And then, you're actually able to... Go through the hair much easier. I do the section, I come in, braid it away. Today is just not one of those days I feel like washing my hair. I don't like the all day long thing. But because I'm getting ready to add product on top of product that's already here from the wash and go, um, next week most likely I'm going to um, detox. Yes, a detox. I'm not washing it and I'm going to add product on top of this to do a twist out so I already know I'm going to need to do a clarifying treatment next week so I look a mess I don't know how some people do these YouTube videos and still look cute even when in the process of doing their hair that is not me this is how I look this is how I look on a Sunday okay still got this to go and it took me a minute before I actually started to love my hair when I first got it cut I was just like oh my god how do I do this I had my hair permed all my life. I didn't know what to do with my hair when it was first cut. I did not know how to style it. I didn't even know how to how to twist my hair, you know? Now, I've gotten the hang of it. But this is actually something new. I've never done a twist out on dirty hair. Usually my hair has to be washed, conditioned, and I usually have it wet. I put my products on it and then I just start twisting. <sighs> Never done it on hair like this before. But it's, you know, coming from out of this um, wash and go. But you know what? We'll see what happens. This is an experiment, right? That's what we're here for. 
Somebody got to do it first, and then if you, they like it, then if I like it, or if you like it, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it looks good. Let me try that. Now that, that's it. Okay, so now that everything is done, this is how you can tell if your products will cause flakes. So, let me get my Uncle Funky, right? Because I have a little bit of the Uncle Funkies. You put a little bit in your hand, right? That's the Uncle Funkies. Right? Hold on. I'm gonna use Shea Bay butter. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I know it's supposed to really help. It actually has helped when it comes to like split ends and single strand knots. So I'm gonna mix that in there, right? So far, no white flakes. Ah. So I should be good if I take it out. I'm gonna also use Camille Rose. It's actually a little looser. Um, the almond jai. This is a um, twisting butter. So I'm using this one as well because I mean, I mean it's thick, but it's much looser than the Shea Bay butter. So hopefully it'll give me good definition. But those are my usually usually my two combinations. But so far, okay. So I don't see any white flakes. That means. It's gonna be a good combination. So how I'm gonna twist my hair now that it's out, see? It is stretched, it is not wet, it's a little bit damp, and um, yeah. So I'm taking my shea butter, no, shea, shea, shea bay butter, <laughs> shea bay butter. Okay, emulsifying so I don't put too much in one spot. Going in, going in. And no, I am not going to comb it. Because my hair is not wet enough. It doesn't have enough um, softener in it to comb it. And I am not trying to lose hair. So, this is it. This is it. Coming in. Come on, get up there. Okay. There. This is how I'm going to twist it. Make sure that you don't borrow, right? Make sure that you... Okay, wait. First of all, this is what borrowing means. So let's say I started off with this was too small and this is big, right? So I'm twisting, twisting twisting, twisting, and then I get to the end and I realize that I don't have enough of this hair to cover this hair. So borrowing would be taking from this hair and then continuing the process all the way down. That's gonna cause tangles and that can cause knots when it's time to take it out. So make sure that your sections are even, right? Before you even start the twisting process. And I actually take, this is just my thing. I take my nail and I come in just a bit to try to separate it a little because I know that I'm not combing it. So I get there, I get to the end, I put a little bit of Camille Rose at the very end, put a little bit of my Shea Bay Butter, and that is my twist out and I'm going to continue the process all the way through okay so I'm back with my last one so the parts of my hair that was a little thicker I actually went in like I did a big section and put the um, Shea, Shea Bay Butter <laughs> hope I'm pronouncing it right and the almond butter this one yes uh, here we go I would put it in each section because like in here is where I'm the thickest. Um, the front falls, I think the front is maybe 4A. So as I was going, as you see, as I get down towards the end, where is my ends live the longest. Your ends live the longest. So as I get down here, I continue to 
put on more. Oops, where they go? There you go. More hair. Ah, oh, where they go? There you go. Let an Etsy come up and then come down. So we are done. My hair is damp, not wet. And um, here is my shed here. And uh, we'll see how this looks tomorrow. A twist out on an old wash and go using chewy do method. So we'll see. The one thing I do like, and I hope it comes out the way I'm looking at it, is my hair is more stretched. I'm like I'm really loving this. It's not like kinked up the way it would be when you first wash your hair and then wait a while and then twist it. See? kind of like this. I think I can even do like mini twists probably one day. Like have it stretched out with the QB, the QB do, and then go in, you know, with like little mini twists. Uh, uh oh, with little mini twists. And um, yeah, as long as it's stretched, but make them tiny. And maybe that can last me for a couple of weeks. Uh, something to experiment on for another time. So I'll be back tomorrow and we'll see what these results look like. Okay, good morning. <clears throat> it is now the next day. And this is what I sleep with, not the buff. Because I want to actually hold my, my hair down. And remember, these pieces that's loose, it's actually okay because I sleep on the satin pillowcase. So, take this off. <sighs> Let it wake up a little bit. Let it not be crushed anymore. And um, I'll take these out once I get out the shower. So what we're looking like right now. So we'll see how it turns Okay, out. so I'm ready for the takedown. Ha! Let's see how this goes. So, I go to the end first, right? Uh, and then it should unravel. When I get to the root, I make sure I just open it up. Okay. But unravel on its own. Get to the roots. Open it. I'll see you when this is done. Okay. So I'm back. So as we see, the twist out turned out pretty good. So I normally. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another way to, to, to unravel it. Like this one. I will go the opposite way of the twist, of the way I twisted it, pull it through, open it up. I usually leave these <laughs> twisted at my sides because my sides lose definition quickly. So I'm not gonna open up my twist because I know that throughout the week it's going to actually open on its own it starts to puff up you know and do his own thing that's the great thing about type 4 here this is not type 4 so that's why these <laughs> I don't bother to untwist I leave it because it'll lose definition quicker so just go in go into my scalp just to wake it up a bit now, if I wanted to open up one let me find one. Oh, here's one okay so you should be able to see where it separates so I go right in there. That's how I separate my twists. If I decided to, but I'm gonna just leave this. I'm gonna just pick it a bit. Just to give it a little bit of volume. And I also may have some that's not untwisted. I don't care. I'll fill it as, as the week go on. Okay. I'm big on always shaking the hair. <laughs> So this is my twist out. This is for Monday. This is how I'm going to work. And ha. This is it. See you back mm, Wednesday. We'll see what happens in a couple of days.
but good morning I forgot that I didn't show my day three here so this is it I just woke up in the morning and did one of these numbers and got out the house still has definition it's a little puffy though but I'm okay with that I love it <laughs> 